Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Now that the aquarium is filled, it's time to cycle it. And I'm gonna show you how. Hey you guys, real quick, if you wanna support this channel, the best way to do that is by hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and leave me a comment down below. Say, hey, this is a cool video, cool tanks, I like it, thumbs up. Hit the bell notification so that you know when I upload. All right, cycling. What is cycling? Is that when you take your bacteria for a ride on a, yeah, a bicycle, right? Is that what you do? If you didn't know that's a, that's a bicycle. No, not what you do. So cycling happens when there is ammonia in your tank and then you take the ammonia, the bacteria will take the ammonia as their food source and then they will go into, what's it called? Nitrite. And then the nitrite bacteria will take the nitrite, boom, and then they will go to nitrate, which is what you will be left with in the end. And that's why you do a water change at the end. So I found this picture on vividaquariums.com and it explains this nitrogen cycle really well and I'm gonna use it so that it can help you follow along as well. So starting with number one, waste combined with live rock creates ideal habitat for good bacteria. Yes, it is. This is the start. This is where your ammonia will come into play. You can use a shrimp, you can use food, or you can even use an ammonia type source as a dosing liquid. That way you don't have to worry about food and everything like that. But for my case and in the BioCube, I just use frozen food. I think nastier the better. Get as much ammonia in there as possible uh, for these bacteria. But obviously when you're using food or frozen food, it's gonna take a little bit longer to break down and create the ammonia. So just be uh, mindful of that if you're trying to test like the next day or two versus the liquid type would be instant ammonia source starting the cycle right there as you dose it all right moving on to number two as i just said the waste creates the ammonia and just so you know high ammonia is very toxic to livestock especially fish so if you are doing a fish cycle make sure you're keeping an eye on your ammonia levels and how your fish are actually breathing and doing and if they're not doing so good you would in fact need to do a nice water change or dose some more bacteria all right number three the nitrosomonas bacteria they are now thriving and consuming the ammonia and now they are producing number four nitrites and nitrites are also super deadly and toxic to livestock so keep an eye on your nitrite levels as you're cycling next comes into play your nitrospira bacteria which they consume the nitrites and that produces your nitrates so they consume nitrites and produce nitrates through their waste now going to number six once the nitrites are at zero, your ammonia is at zero, and you have detectable levels of nitrate, your aquarium is now cycled. Another way to test it is that you can dose a little bit more ammonia, get some readings in there, test 24 hours later, and if it's zero ammonia and nitrate, and gives you some more nitrate, boom, you're ready to go to add livestock nice and slow. All right guys, so real quick, I just want to talk about bottled bacteria and how many different types there are. Uh, there's basically, if you don't have live rock like that first picture showed in number one, you can use dry rock and bottled bacteria. Just know that the cycle will take a bit longer in this aspect. Now what we did with the BioCube, we cycled or cured our rock as you can see in this video, I'll either put a card up top or put the link in the description below. So you can check that one out and get more information and more insight of how to cycle dry rock to make it live rock with your bacteria. 
Okay guys, it's time to see how well our bacteria performed and to see how long our cycle actually lasted. All right guys, so this is about three days later after throwing in a cube of frozen food. As soon as we set up that bio cube, I went ahead and threw it in there and it looks like we already have some ammonia in the system, which is really good. That means it's starting, it's going its way towards our cycle. No nitrite as expected as the nitrospira bacteria take a bit longer to get established in a reef aquarium and are much slower grower than the nitrosomonas bacteria. All right guys, fast forward three more days. It is now November 7th and we have a bit more ammonia, but now we are actually testing and have nitrite on our charts. Do you guys know what this means? This means that the BioCube is on its way to being cycled. This is great. This is awesome. So one thing, you don't want to go overboard on ammonia because you don't want to go overboard on nitrite. Okay guys, it is now two days later and ammonia is steadily decreasing, but I have been adding more food in there as time goes on so the ammonia is going to be present but at least it's not crazy high and now as for our nitrite as you saw before it was a slight pinkish it had some pink in there but it is now kind of like is it zero is it 0 0.05 it's kind of on that border all right guys now we are fast forwarding to six days later it is now the 17th of november that means we are fully cycled now. If you look at these readings, yes, uh, these Red Sea test kits sometimes will keep ammonia on there, even if it's zero, but I'm sure there might be a little bit in there. Our nitrite looks clear, meaning it is at zero. It is fully cycled, leaving us with nitrate. You see that pink in there for the nitrate? That means we have a full cycle for our biocube. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope that I covered all of the basics for you for cycling a reef tank. And if not, send some comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn bell notifications on. And remember, guys, just reef.